Hey everybody, it's your Crafty Crochet back for another video. Um, this is going to be a very, very short video. Uh, I don't have a lot uh, to show. I got um, I got eight finished objects and four whips. Um, all of my whips are knitted. Um, I do have one jellyfish uh, that I'm working on, but all I have is the bottom piece. Um, so we'll do my finished objects first. So then I can, as you can see, I'm kind of in a different spot. Um, uh, Wednesday night, I stayed up because, oh, by the way, it's Friday the 9th and it is almost four o'clock in the morning um i'm doing this now so that i can lay down for a couple hours um we're supposed to go with my mom's friend so yeah i'm doing i'm doing it now um so i moved my room around and eliminated a bunch of stuff as you can see my yarn is back in totes because I have an air conditioner, and I apologize if you can hear it, it's literally right there. Um, but after my little episode of being really, really dehydrated, my gram gave me an air conditioner to put up here so that I could sleep up here and, you know, be up here and all that kind of stuff. So it is working excellent. Um, the only problem I have now is sometimes I get a little bit too cold, but other than that, it's really good. Um, so we're going to do my finished objects first, and then we're going to do my four um, knitted whips. And of course, they're all hats, but um, yeah. So I have two jellyfish. I'm going to try to put you back a little bit. Maybe you guys can see. So this is the one jellyfish. Um, basically, I'm using a variegated and a solid color together to make these, to use up a lot of my variegated stash. Um, this pattern is by Wickedly Handmade. This is the Chunky Jelly Boy pattern. Um, you can find the pattern on Ravelry, Etsy, and their own website. And if I can remember, I will try to link it down below. But this is the one. Um, so this is white held a double with um, pink marmalade Ferris wheel. So... So that is that one. I'm going to put that one back over on my stand. Then I have this one here. And this is made with a Hobby Lobby yarn. It's the turquoise, purple, and white. I don't remember what that colorway was. I got it a long time ago. And I held it um, double with a purple. So... I am making these for um, one of my charities, so yeah. So I have six total and I need 30, but I figured if I do about two or three every week, then I can, I can get them, I can knock them out. I'm also planning on hope, maybe working on them at Graham's, but I'm not really sure. Um, so those are two of my finished objects. The rest of my finished objects are washcloths. Um, and I am going to participate in the, um, charity for Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. Um, she is doing... Uh, donations for wings and um, I think September no 
September or October, they need like washcloths and dishcloths. So I have six of them made, using up some of my cotton. Um, and this is the meadow washcloth. I absolutely love this pattern. Um, it's by TLK Cuties, and you can get that off. I got mine off of Etsy. It is a paid for pattern. But I made some smaller ones, so this one is, this is like a navy, then I have a cream, then I have this like denim -y blue one, then I have this one, I think this colorway is called Dance, or Moon Dance maybe, this was a random ball, and then I have a turquoise one here. So I have those finished, and now we are into um, whips. So I have, yeah, three whips that are knitted, they're knitted hats. So I have this yarn, I have this yarn here. I have one skein of it, and I decided to make a hat with it. So this is um, Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick, and it is the color Carousel. So I did all of this in one sitting when I talked to my boyfriend today on the phone. So I did all of that. I love how it's working up. Can't wait to finish it. So. And I'm using some needles that I got on Amazon. I don't know. They're a generic brand. They're not like the real expensive ones. So. And then my next one is made with Charisma yarn. And I am getting pretty good at knitting. I'm not a pro or anything, but I am getting a lot faster. So I have this one here started, and this is with Charisma yarn, and I have one of my little ladybug stitch markers that I bead weaved. Um, I do, I, so, um, there is a lot of Beads, beaded stitch markers that I want to do. I have the patterns and everything. Um, when I go to Graham's, um, I t asked her, uh, I told her, she gave me some money um, last when I went with her the other day to the post office and stuff and told her I was going to, I thanked her and told her I was going to put it on my card because I needed to get some um, beads. And she asked me if I needed more, and I said, well, yeah, I do need quite a few bead colors. And she's like, would you want me to give you more money, or do you want to just use my card? And I said, well, you could just give me more money. And then she's like, well, how much? And I'm like, I don't know. And then she's like, well, why don't, when you come up Friday, you can just use my card. So I got some beads that I'm going to be ordering hopefully today and um, so yeah I'm pretty excited so I have no idea what this colorway is it's pinks and browns that's all I know so I'm pretty excited about that and the pattern I'm using is for this one is the Ross hat from Ross over at Smells Like Yarn. And this one, I don't even know why I'm showing it to you because I literally just casted this one tonight and I have one row done. And it is in this one. I do know the name of this one. This one is Bright Pop, so I cannot wait to get that started. Um, I asked Rel about because she um, uses charisma a lot to make her hats like in the winter and stuff and she said well 
I told her the problem I was having with the one, or she saw my video on the one that it had that I made at my, that I was working on at grounds, and I didn't like it. It was way too stiff. It was like flaring out and stuff. Turns out I just had way too many stitches on my needles for that yarn, and these ones are so much better. I cast it on 56 stitches and just went with it. So, now this one is another story. So I was working on this one because it is the one that I have the farthest one. And this is made with, um, I think Premier, Premier, base, Lion Brand Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling. And this colorway is High Valley. Now, I started, this hat has been going on for over a year. I started this hat 3-7-2020, and I'm just now this far. Um, if you're like me, I go through spurts where I'll knit for a while, I'll, then I'll like for, I'll knit for a while and cr do nothing but knit for a while, and then I'll go to crochet and crochet for a while, and back and forth. Well... I'm in a knitting bug right now, so that's all I want to do is knit, but it kills my arm, it kills my wrist. So I had this hat almost done. I was on the decreases, and I did quite a few of the decrease round, and then do the decrease round, do a regular knit round, then do a decrease round, knit round. But, I messed up, like, right here where my marker is, and I couldn't figure out how to, um, I, so I had, I originally had 10 stitches because I cast it on 80 stitches for the fat, and I separated it in, or, yeah. So... I had eight sections of ten stitches. Well, my last one, which is where this little paw print is, I had more stitches in that last section than I did any of the other sections. And I could not figure out how to fix it and where I messed up at. So I ripped it all back and I think I'm going to have to add to this because the pattern, Ross's pattern says, I think, knit until um, 60, 6 inches. Well, um, I messed up on that because this is not 6 inches. I don't even think this is 5 inches. So it's like five and a half in well wait a minute. It's like five and a half inches. So I definitely want to add a little bit more to this. So I mean I guess it's good that I ripped it out anyway. Also, I made some um knit stitch markers for myself because I thought I had some already made, but I do not. So I took some of my paw prints that my mom got me, sparkly glittery ones, and made myself some knit stitch markers. So then when I go to decrease the crown, I have some. And I'm using this little um, bag that I made, little notions pouch for all of my knitting stuff. So I have some extra needles in here. Um, I have a little crochet hook in here. I have a pair of scissors, my measuring tape, my point protectors, or whatever these are. So I have those on there. So yeah, that is everything that I've been working on. Like I said, I've been really um, working on my knitted hats, but I am going to go over and lay down. I have a little bit of a headache. My legs are killing me from sitting in the same spot for too long, so I am going to go lay down. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, oh, I want to show you guys my shirt. 
So my friend Mandy, she is um, ticker or something. She made me this shirt. Um, it has my name and it says Crochet Queen on it. And I just wanted to show you guys this. So um, she's on Facebook. She makes cups, um, t-shirts, masks, um, all kinds of stuff. And I love this shirt. I like because it says my name and it has Crochet Queen on it. Um, I might do a video at Graham's this weekend just because, uh, so I'm not working on mittens because, um, I was going to, but I was talking to my friend Christina and she could tell that I was not really feeling the whole mittens thing. And she's like, why work on something that you're not really enjoying and I'm like you're right and so I'm not doing mittens but I am going to send Rose um, some hats and I did find three pairs of mittens so I'm going to send those when I was looking through my um, donations that I got back and I also found um, some soap socks that I made so so yeah. So I'm going to let you guys go. Like I said, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And depending on what I get into this weekend at Grams, you might see me, you might not see me. Um, so yeah. So I am going to go. Uh, have a great day guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.